Hey there, it's Hannah. Today I'm at the National Museum of Korea in Seoul trying something new, drawing on my iPad in public for the first time. Let's see how it goes. This museum is huge. It's the largest I visited during my six years in Korea. And inspired by a YouTube video, I'm giving Procreate a shot for doing quick studies. Let's dive in, starting at the Buddhist Sculptures exhibit. So at first, I was using the iPad just like I would a sketchbook just sketching with the 6B brush, but I wasn't happy with the results and it was taking me forever to finish. I felt like this was not going to work out at all and that this might have been a total fail. I was really disappointed with this last sketch. I really loved this statue and I just think the proportions are wrong. So I just strolled around mesmerized by the large Buddhas before moving on to the next exhibit. I was captivated by these large scrolls, so I decided to give it a go. I realized that with a painting, I didn't have to go about it as a sketch, but rather I could jump right in with color and different brushes on my iPad. So this really opened up my mind for the rest of the day on what I could actually do. I loved the composition of this tiger and the size was just extremely impressive, but I didn't spend enough time getting it quite to the place where I would like. It's something I think I will go back to and maybe finish in my own style with my own personal colors. When I saw all of these scrolls of ink paintings in the other room, I was so excited. I love this style of painting and I really wanted to try to do my own study. I was pretty happy with how this one came out. I do think the egret in back looks a little strange. In the original one, you can tell that the head is tucked into its wing, but in mine, it just looks a little decapitated. But I really felt like I was getting the hang of trying different brushes and procreate and taking advantage of all that it has to offer. This was the last exhibit I visited and honestly I was so tired at this point. I had been at the museum for almost four hours and I just kind of wanted to leave but I really wanted to try to do one sketch from the Joseon exhibit and I also felt so pleased with my egret sketch that I felt like I was a bit on a roll. The first exhibit, I was trying to draw three-dimensional sculptures and really struggled. I think next time I will try a more painterly approach instead of trying to get an accurate depiction from life. With the next exhibits, I started to take advantage of the benefits of using Procreate for sketching, using colors and different brushes. 
Finally, I think my last two studies were the most successful. Next time, I will definitely have a better idea of how to start. The museum gift shop has so many cute items, it's really hard not to buy anything. I think there's even a second museum gift shop, but I was so tired I didn't even stop by, which is really saying something. But let's look at what they have together, and I really recommend this gift shop for any kind of like souvenir or anything like that. Well, it's been a long day of sketching and inspiration gathering, but I would be a fool to not mention the wandering robots of the museum. This is the fourth time I've been here, and this is the first time I've ever seen them. And they were quite a hit with the kids, and honestly, quite odd. Um, but I do recommend playing with them. Thanks for coming along to draw and explore with me today. Bye!